Hey everybody, guess what? We're in Star Citizen Alpha 2.1 and you wouldn't believe it, but there's a new ship. We didn't even know there was going to be a new ship. I think this is really, really freaking cool. They just... Just look at that, it just showed up. Give us a new ship right out of nowhere. And as you can see, it's an Aegis ship, but... It's the Vanguard. Sorry about the flickering, that'll go away in a moment. That's my SLI having issues. But check that bad boy out. Oh man, this thing is beautiful. I really like the way this ship looks. Now, flight-wise, it's a little on the slow side right now. I don't know whether they're going to keep it that way. They said nothing about this ship is final. That there's most of it's still in development. So don't take any of its mechanics right now as the final stages. They said that they need to improve its shielding because right now they've changed to some new implementations of their. Uh, component system and all of this ship's shield generators aren't working properly because of that so it's got a much weaker shield than it's supposed to. They also said they wanted the handling to be a little bit looser. They said they think the handling's a little bit too light. So, so they want it to be a little bit driftier. Whoa. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I think this ship is really cool. Let me see if I can get this someplace that's very well lit. That satellite's kind of a uh, Kind of killing us. There you go. This is a good spot. But look at that. It's so immaculate. Yeah, look at that. And look at the There's my little guy in the center. Can't zoom in any further than that, unfortunately. But let me change it to another view. Oh, there we go. That's not it. Look at that. His hair is still a little funny, but he's got better hair than he had last time, and I'll take that. Look at that. Look at that gun on the top. Unfortunately, uh, I am unable to fire the gun on the top. I can fire the uh, nose gun. It's a size 4, baby! And I can also fire the uh, little nose cannons. They're pretty sick. They said they're going to that they're going to change the nose cannons because at this current state of implementation, the nose cannons can only be replaced. See how they they look kind of flat and like they kind of go into the ship. You can only replace them with cannons that are flat like that. So all of the guns that are currently available will not mount to those little gun points. They said that they're going to change that because people want it changed, and uh, they said that they're working on that next. Oops, it's the inside of the ship. We'll save the inside of the ship for a little bit later. Let's rotate so you guys can see the underside. See that? Those that see those little. Uh, let me switch views again. See that? Those are bomb bays. So this ship is going to. Like, I have the bomber variant of this ship. So this is the standard one, which, as you can see, this is pretty well equipped. I mean, it's got the four nose cannons. It's got the size four, um, you know, uh, Gatling cannon, and then it's got. Uh, I think those are size three mounts on the turret, which unfortunately you need a gunner to operate. There's no. You don't. Unlike some of the other ships right now, if I there, none of the buttons I press will fire that top Gatling units. So look, that little uh, triangle bit right there is the back door. That's how you get in. And then that bottom bit is for bombs or something else. I mean, I guess that this was a cargo variant. You could probably put cargo in there. I think it might be an escape potty kind of a thing, but you do get a bomb bay, like serious bomb bays out of this thing. Now, I don't know what size the torpedoes are because there's been some kind of, the stats page is inaccurate right now. So when you're looking at sizes of torpedoes and bombs, it's not going to be quite what it'll be when the game is finished so from what i've seen i think they look like they're the same size as the ones that would be on the uh, gladiator only i think this ship is a lot more capable i actually sold my m50 and my gladiator to get this because i feel like this ship will be a much more capable light small like, like a heavy fighter slash bomber than a light bomber than the uh than the gladiator was gladiator was just too fragile not necessarily all that maneuverable, but at the same time, not all that capable. It, it, you couldn't even fight a Hornet. And it's, other than bombing something and then retreating, and it was short range only, so that's also not something that would be very useful to me. I need to be, I don't, I don't have a carrier to operate off of. Now, let's see if we can land this bad boy so you guys can get a better view of the interior. There should be some landing pads around here somewhere. We'll show you how this thing handles see as you can see right now top speed is less than stellar and then with the afterburner we get a top speed of like 235 which is not much to speak of 
I actually, believe it or not, kind of like the handling. I know they're going to change it to make the ship feel bigger, but... Oops, as I run into stuff. Whoa, that was close. Now, where are, there are the landing pads? It's funny, I actually have a better... situational awareness from the inside. I guess it's too much time of playing this. Now, as you can see, the menu isn't still isn't quite working. They're working on that as well. As you can see, like, the down at the very, very bottom of this... Oops, oops the ship's moving. Can I... I don't know if I can, I can't lock the engines, but if you see right down there where my cursor is, that's where all the uh, data is right now, and it's not supposed to be down there, but they're working, they're going to fix that. And let's get us into a landing position. Now, unfortunately, once we land, we can no longer fly around, so this will be, I'll have to switch modes after this so you guys can, uh... Ooh. Is this the one with the best lighting? Let's fly over to that other one. I'm thinking they have slightly better land, better lighting conditions than this one. Landing here, retarded. Landing here, Wee. Downside, once again, something that they're going to probably fix, but right now, uh, cannot be helped. Stuff happens. Uh, once you land, you're not taking off again. Ooh, Landing that was close. Complete. No, I don't want to launch. Where are you going? Where are you going? Down. Down, I say. Oops, too fast, too fast. Yeah, I need to go back to first person view. I'm really bad at landing from third person. I only did it so that I wouldn't crush the ship, because uh, right now, if you land too hard, it's very easy to crush your ship still. Not as easy as it was, but still kind of easy because I'm, I'm just so much used to between elite dangerous in this game i spend way too much time in cockpit view and it feels strange when i'm not in cockpit view all righty now we're going to go to uh pre-flight i mean pre-launch whatever uh landing mode so that uh we can get a lot more sensitive movements we're going to move forward ever so slightly then we're going to start going down landing complete launch complete Landing complete, please. I kind of have to you put a, like, a continuous down thrust because the ships don't seem to lock magnetically to the pad right now. So in order to keep the ship from taking off again, I have a roller that's on my uh, flight stick that allows me to put just a small amount of boost consistently on. I don't know how anybody with a binary controller would uh, fare in the same light. Ooh, I'm in third person. Let's go to first person to get the be better details. And uh, look at all this stuff. I mean, looks like there's lockers here. There's a... Is this the... No, that's not a bathroom. Um, I thought there was a bathroom in here somewhere, but I don't know. I don't really... I haven't... I'm still exploring the ship myself. Get that. More lockers. Oh, I think that's the gun turret up there. We'll go and explore that in a second. I can't exactly see what that is, but... Looks interesting. What's this? Ooh, it's like our engine control panel, like the internal systems. Aegis Dynamics. I think they just, it's, this is like a placeholder. As you can see, there's a, a retaliator in here, which means that, you know, this is not the final version. But I just let you know that it will exist, and that's about something, what it might look like. Because it looks like a gun holder here. There's the bathroom. Yeah, look at that. Ah, ha, 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 sink, first aid kit. No mirror. But yeah, you don't want to see yourself after a long voyage. You look ugly. Toilet. Uh, I can't sit down yet, but they'll they'll add that eventually. Ooh, close. Yeah, I love that. That's very cool. And then here's the back. Oh, the back door closes automatically. Open the back door. Take a slightly. Oh, before we go outside, outside though, let's uh, take a look at that gunner's position. Look at that, slides down into position, all fancy-like. No climbing up ladders for me. Look at that, ah, ah, ah. The view seems to be okay. I actually rather like this. I mean, you can't look too far back, but you're supposed to rotate around anyway. Oh, looks like I can't fire them either. <laughs> So maybe they're just not firing right now. It may not be because I don't, you know, before I was thinking that maybe I couldn't fire them because the ship can't be, you can't fire these without a, a, a man in this seat. But it looks like you can't fire them anyway. 
Like, the mouse isn't doing anything. And the controller doesn't appear to be doing anything. And even my flight stick. My flight stick lets me control it. Feels very official. Like, I feel like in, I'm in an arcade back in the 90s again. With a flight stick that, that turns a gun around. You know, that is just so classic. But yeah. And it's got some little heads-up display. Ship status. They got target status. Kind of cool stuff. I like this. Let's go back out and we'll take a look around the outside of the ship. Now, personally, I think this is a much cooler ship than the Gladiator. Even the whoa, it's way more expensive. Don't close me in. Way more expensive, but it just. You get so much more out of this. I love the way this thing looks. I, I think I'm an Aegis fanboy now. Almost all the ships that I own and that I want to own are Aegis ships. Like, I really want the Saber. I don't have the money for that right now. Depending on how my Retaliator does, I might trade it in. If I like, I, Right now, it's only good with crew, and I don't really have enough of a crew to pilot it, so I might trade it in and get maybe a Saber. But I love the Saber. I love the Avenger. I love the the Gladius. I, I all for all the combat shit. The Aegis ones just look so good, and they're nimble. I don't like slow heavy ships, and these things are for their size. Even this one seems to be quite nimble, and I, I very much like it. The only ship that I have that isn't right now is um I have the M I had the M50 which I traded in, and I had the 350R which I really really the 350R is still my favorite ship, but um because of its fragility you have to you have to really outmaneuver the balls out of anybody you intend to fight. Whereas, and it's still kind of buggy. Uh, they're doing a rework, though, so that, that'll come. But, uh, yeah. Now, I, I'm pretty sure that this will be the end of our video. Only at the, the end of this part of the video, anyway. Ooh, that's getting above you. I think if I jump off of this launch pad, I should be able to. There we go. Z zero G. Come on, up you go. Up you go. So I'm going to walk around on top of it. Oh, no! Gravity died. I mean, gravity came back. Uh, zero gravity died. Okay, now we're going to get enough height that we can drop on top of this. Oh, man, this guy's making me sick. Rotate. Oh, man. This is not good for my stomach. All right, there we go. That's the direction we want to go in. Keep going up. Come on, cancel out that rotation, please. There we go. I'm going to make it. There we go. Look at the shine off of that. Oh, man, that looks great. The textures on this ship look awesome. This is why I'm usually a bit... I, I heard recently that they're reworking the 300 series, and that's why I can forgive them, you know, now. But uh, for the longest time, when you look at how much detail there is on the surface of these ships, the 350R has been looking pretty ugly for a pretty long time. And they said they're going to be reworking it internally and externally, so hopefully that will fix all of this ugliness. Those are the thrusters there. There and there and there and I think there. I know for sure there's some bigger thrusters on the front. Let's see if we can find them. Where are they? Oop! Don't fall off now. I don't have to do that zero G thing again. Oh, there they are. Actually, I'm sorry. Those but those probably weren't the thrusters. These are the thrusters here. And I like that they're they're like pill shaped and like vectored. I think that's very wicked. Of course, same thing on the other side. Oh, just the way that looks. Yeah, I really like this ship. I wish it was in my hangar so we could see it with better light, but this this will kind of have to do for now. Now, uh, we're going to go back in and see if we can fly it. Odds are we probably can't, because last time I tried this, I couldn't launch again once I landed and got the ship parked. Like, you can launch it if you don't leave the ship, but it seems like once you leave the ship, that that's kind of it. But just on the off chance, I just want to see if they fix that. Turn off the G safe. Oh, we can take off, so they have fixed it. Sweet! Look at that gun, man. Guess the launch pad isn't quite real enough for me to shoot it. I love how the wings come out.
I wish there was a little bit more, like, fanfare to the thrusters, but once again, they will probably add that later, I'm hoping, because I want to see them things, like, burning with blue light and leaving trails. Now, overall, I would say this thing, it's, it's pretty solid. I like it. We're going to take it into combat in just a moment. Let me get out of the pre-flight mode. Ooh, we've even got cruise. Let's check our cruise speeds while we're here. Ah, thread the needle. Oh, I guess we can't switch to cruise mode in here. Okay, whatever. We'll do the we'll do the uh, universe to test the cruise mode out. Look at that. Oh man. Alrighty, let's go. We'll head back to the hangar. I'll show you the uh, the readout of the table on this thing. And then we'll go into a, we'll do some vandal swarm or something just to do a, give you guys a basic idea of how it flies because I haven't taken this thing into the uh, multiplayer mode yet, especially because shields are kind of broken and the uh, you can't change the guns and stuff like that. So I don't really feel like th this is a ship I want to take in the multiplayer stuff. But this vandal they die easy enough, so you get an idea of how this thing runs. Oh, almost forgot. No, no, not quite yet. Hold on! Get out! Oh man. Yeah, hold on. Sorry about that. Exit. I do love that this drone, that little seat is there. I think that's a pretty cool bit for immersion, say. There we go. They've made the hollow table a little easier to interact with, but here it is. They've got the engines. Let's see what do the engines say? Oh, they still haven't exactly named them. But, uh, Mass 400. They actually have Mass now on here. I think they said they're size 4. I was expecting this ship to have a little bit higher of a top speed. Maybe not necessarily be maneuverable, but it, right now it's the same speed as the, uh, uh, the Retaliator. And the Retaliator's a much bigger ship, so I have a hard time believing they have the same top speed. It just doesn't seem quite right. But, once again, they'll probably fix that. Um, we got the gunner position. It says that you can't exactly read it because it's kind of fading off the screens. Now, let me show you what I was talking about with the weapons. See, here's... Let me take one of them off. Oh, that's the size 4 cannon. There we go. Let me take one of them off. Let's see if we can find it. There it is. See how it's kind of like... It's kind of like a stub. It's not even... Like, these are whole guns. When you hold them, it's a whole gun. This just looks like it's the tip of a gun. So that's kind of why you can't mount other guns to it. So even though I have, like, I was a lot of guns I wanted to try on this thing, because I've got a lot of guns just laying around. Um, like, ooh, maybe we should try the ballistic. We will try the ballistic cannon next, because that, that looks pretty stinking cool. And that's the one that, that goes on the nose. It should, it should have some serious kick to it. But in the meantime, we'll put my little, my little nose stub back on. Ammo. Let's take a look at the missiles, because we got two missile racks on the bottoms. These are size 2 missiles. They're Ignite 2s right now. I mean, I guess I could put Rattlers or something on there if I wanted to, but I think they either go up to size 3 or size... I think it's size 3 is the maximum size. Let's go back to the weapon slot, because it should slow the uh, missile rack. I guess it is size 2. I thought it was a size 3 rack. Okay, whatever. Doesn't matter. Size 2 is good enough. Especially with the bomb. Oh, no, it's the. I think it's the bombing variant that has size three. Because I bought a ship with size three. It's the bombing variant that has it. Okay. No, the power plants aren't visible yet. Shields don't seem to be there yet. And the thrusters are. Yeah, it's the same data as before. Size four. But whatever. Let's go. We're gonna check out. Oh, actually, let's get let's get in our city. Actually, let's take a look at the uh, retaliator just to give you an idea of how much bigger this is. Considering how big this is, this ship and the warden should not have the same top speed. Because look at how much bigger this thing is. It's massive. My only problem right now with the Retaliator is that I cannot fight in it alone at all. Like, you, if you were to have to take it somewhere by yourself, you are the most ultimate sitting of ducks. You cannot do anything. People could just have their way with you. And I mean, I understand they want us to have NPCs. And we will eventually, but like right now, it, it makes it almost useless. Uh-oh. It seems as though something is broken. Well, we'll do it the old-fashioned way if the seat's broken. Uh, I, I thought we could do it the old-fashioned way. Actually, well, we'll do it from the main menu. Because whatever's wrong, uh, I seem to have broken this, uh, the chair. 
Alpha, everybody, it's still Alpha. I'm glad that they have all these extra menus. That makes things like that when something like that happens, it's not that big of a deal. I can just switch to another menu. I'm gonna go to Vandal Swarm. I'll go to stay in Broken Moon. I kinda like Broken Moon. And let's light these fools up. Yes, there'd better be hostiles inbound. Here we go, let's go get them. Oh, let me get rid of that uh, gimbal. Let's lock our gimbals down. Whoa. Look at that. <laughs> He's history. I like the strength of these cannons, though. They're nuts. Look at him. I shattered him. That is amazing. I had a curiosity. Let's see what I can do to my allies. Oh, I can't stop! Oh, that, that was bad. Ooh. Yeah, this ship is not slow. Stop quickly. So be prepared if you're gonna if you're moving at any kind of a clip whatsoever. I think I just broke my nose gun. Wow, our allies are pretty tough. I guess they don't want us act. We they don't really want us killing them. <laughs> Let's try out the missiles. Wow, look at that. Oh, let's go the one at him. I like how quickly they fire. The uh, 350R's missiles fire slow as crap. You gotta kind of be right behind him, though, it seems. Yeah, see, if he does any kind of a maneuver, they miss. Dodge this. Wow. That guy's rather tough. Oh, did I break some off? No, four are there. Maybe just at range. See, there we go. It's supposed to be at range. You must gotta get kinda close to the target for these to work. Let's try and hit this guy with a missile. Shields are down. I guess he's out of missile range. Let's speed up a little bit. You know what? This guy behind me, he's getting on my nerves. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> I wasted a missile on that one. Yeah, we still can't go into cruise. Who seems to last a good long time on this ship? It's probably because it's so large, it has a larger tank. It takes me forever to get somewhere, though. Ooh, wow! He's done. And all we'll do, we'll just kill off to the, uh, the, the Alpha, whatever, whoever the biggest bad dude is in this one, the named one, and then we'll call it here. Actually, you know what? Before we do that, I want to see what the Gatling gun does. Well, I guess there's no eject on this ship. Yeah, there seems to be no eject. We'll self-destruct. 30 seconds? That's a long time. Let's, uh, let's do it the old-fashioned way. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, that 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 self destruct last takes too long. It's giving you time to run or escape out of the ship. Whatever. There we go. Let's take our. There we go. Who's the biggest baddie of them all? Scavenger, scavenger, scavenger. Should be ah, little king. Let's go after him. Let's try a couple missiles first. Actually, no. We should probably try the Gatling gun first because you guys have seen the missiles already. Let's try the Gatling gun. Why is he so far away from everybody else? Boy, the accuracy of the Gatling gun leaves something to be desired. Oh, it overheats too. Yeah, wow, that gun overheats kind of quick. So you might want to invest in a new nose gun. This guy using all these flares. We just stop it. Look at he automatically has a flare as soon as I launch one. Is that one gonna hit him? You know what, dude? You're asking for it. Ooh, did he go through the terraforming beam, or did I hit him? Ah, either or, he's dead. Well, that guy gives you guys a good idea of what the ship is like, you know? It's pretty good. I wouldn't go straight out there and buy one, but you know, like, oh, I did actually. I can't say don't go out there and buy one, because I did, but I'm just saying that I wouldn't necessarily suggest going out there and buying one unless you really want a nice, kind of a big, powerful, heavy, crazy ship. But, um, I very much like it. I think it's brilliant. Good enough that it, you could probably put cargo in this thing if you change the modules around, but at the same time, good enough and stable enough, because even in this, it's, it's, it's pretty sturdy and, and battle-ready, I would say even without having to do much to it. So I think this is a good ship. And it'll be interesting to see once things get, you know, a bit more balance passes and this thing gets a, it's set up configured a bit better. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's just brilliant. Well, anyway, um, if you guys liked the video, please hit me, you know, like and subscribe. You know, more videos will be coming. I'll probably even be doing an, uh, an Alpha 2.1 coverage just to show how much better 2.1 is than 2.0. And um, see you guys around the verse. Peace. I'm out.